Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Terrain Painter in Rust Edit. So if you go to Terrain Painter on the right, you've got four things here. The Topology, the Alpha, the Biome, and the Splat. Today, we're not going to be talking about the Alpha. We're going to be talking about the Topology, the Biome, and the Splat. And these three things together, they dictate what happens on the map and how things look and what spawns and what doesn't spawn. So you're basically painting in areas with certain rules and the game reads that and things happen depending on what is painted where. So this is a reference map showing a lot of combinations of biome, topology and splat. I'll first explain what the map does and then we're loaded onto our server and I'll show you how to use it to your advantage. This map is made by Bran from KB Edits and you can find it on Codefling. I'll show you exactly where you can download it in a second. First of all, there are four biomes. You got the temperate, the arid, the tundra and the arctic. Those are at the bottom. Then on the left and on the right are the same things. So that's those are all the topology layers. And at the top you got all the splat or the textures. And those three things together create all different kinds of scenarios. If this doesn't make any sense yet, well, let's go into the game. I'm gonna load this map onto my server. Let's go into the game. And then hopefully that will explain a lot more what this does and how you can use it. Okay, so here we are on the server and this will hopefully make a lot more sense this is the map in the game it's exactly the same of course as the other one i showed you so let's fly around <laughs> let's make ourselves admin and let's fly around <laughs> let's try again failure try again so we are on the server yeah um same map yes already said that so we're gonna fly around and let's say we want a arctic uh, environment and we want to see what kind of things we can do there so let's go to the map let's search for arctic that's here so let's just go there let's fly around and let's see for example here we got some trees let's say i want to make a arctic forest inside of my custom map i would know uh, i would have to know what kind of um, topology and splat i have to use for this tree to spawn there because like i said all these things together basically dictate what happens and what doesn't happen so if you look over here here are no trees but here we got some wood and here we got no trees but we got some bushes and some rocks so it's all different and depending on what you need you could go here and like i said let's say we want to make a uh, arctic forest we can go on the map go focus so see where we are and we can see, see exactly what we need to paint in for this to work. So we would have the snow uh, splat or texture. We would have the forest topology. And we already know in this case that it's Arctic because that's exactly what we wanted. Um, so if we wanted to paint this forest, we would just have to paint these three things. The snow texture with the forest topology in the Arctic biome. And that would create exactly this. Let's fly and see if we find any other things. So here we got some notes, for example. So if you wanted to paint in an area with notes, um, then we go again. So we need to have the snow splat or texture with the decor or decor, however you want to pronounce it, topology, and once again in the Arctic biome. So this way we can very quickly just write down or um, as a reference, fly around and see what do we want. And then we can exactly see very easily what we need so if you want to paint this this is probably the road yeah so roadside with the snow and then in the arctic that never changed because we're still in the same lane if you wanted to have the swamp trees instead of the normal trees i already know it's swamp um you take the swamp topology so it's super super handy to just fly around see what do you need for your area and look exactly what you want so let's say you want to have a really green forest you want to paint that in for example so something like this what happened here oh a car spawned okay <laughs> um so green forest i see several green forests so this is a green forest with notes so that would be grass uh the texture in the uh, decor decor whatever in the temperate and that would make a green forest with notes. Here we got a really green forest, but not with notes, but with pickups and berries and tree logs and cloth and everything. So what do we have here? Uh, we are in the grass 
texture with the forests in the temperate still, right? Yeah, temperate. So if you want to have an airdrop, you would have to... No, I'm kidding, of course. This just randomly <laughs> spawned here. <laughs> but I was on my way to those um, spawn roadside things. I already covered those. But things like the barrels and stuff, you could have little areas um, in between. So big thanks to Bren um, for NKB Edits for making this and helping a lot of people, hopefully, hopefully getting a little bit more understanding of the topology, the biome, and the splat combinations. So check out Code Fling as well. They have a lot more things than just this map. There's a lot of helpful things and nice prefabs and custom plugins you can get there. Down in the video description, I will put the download link and also the link to the video explaining how to run custom maps so you can put this on your own server and check it out for yourself. Thank you for watching. Think about subscribing and liking if I helped you out in any way. That's the easiest way for you to help me in return for helping you. I'm out. Peace.